Hey guys, welcome to the 84th C Sharp tutorial that I'm making for the new Boston. And in this tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how to open a WAV file and how to play that sound. And I'm also going to show you um, how to play default Windows sounds. So all you're going to need for this tutorial is a button, an open file dialog, and an if statement checking to see if the user actually selects a file in the open file dialog. You're also going to need to be using the system.media namespace because um, all the classes that we're going to be working with today will be uh, located in there. Alright, so the first thing I'm going to show you is how to um, play a WAV file. So all you're going to want to do is create a new sound player. Just type out sound player. I'm going to call it S. And just set it equal to a new sound player. And we're going to pass through um, the, the string sound location. And basically that's just a file path to the uh, WAV file that you want to play. So we're just going to do OFD.FileName because it'll be whatever WAV file that the user opens in the open file dialog. And in order to play that, you're just going to want to use the play method inside of the sound player class. So now when we open or click this button, you should get an open file dialog. And then we'll create a new sound player um, using the path to the file that the user opened in the open file dialog, and then we will play that WAV file. So now when we debug, she get our open file dialog. Just open our test uh, WAV. Testing, one, testing, one, two, three. I don't know if you guys could hear that, but I just made that uh, WAV file like pretty quick. All right, and the next thing that I'm going to show you how to do is to play looping. So this will just play it over and over again. So now when we open this, it should just play it continuously. Testing, testing, one, two, three. Testing, testing, one, two, three. Testing, yeah, I played it uh, three times there. Um, and the final method that I'm going to be showing you is the play sync. And what this will do is it will, when it's playing, it will freeze your application, which I, I really don't know why you'd ever want to do that. But the other ways would just play it async so that like you can move your application around and stuff like that. So now when we play it, we can't move our application around. Testing, testing, one, two, three. Yeah, we couldn't. We had to wait till the sound was finished playing. Alright, so now that you know how to play um, WAV files that you've opened, I'm now going to show you how to play default Windows sounds. So just go ahead and type out um, system sounds. We're going to be using the system sound class. And inside of here are some uh, static properties. First one we're going to be looking at is the asterisk sound. And we're just going to do dot play. To use, or we're going to use the play method to play this sound. So now when you debug here, you should get um, just an asterisk sound. I don't know if you could hear that, so I'll click it a few more times. Yeah. Alright, the uh, next one I'm going to be showing you is the beep, and you can do this with all of these, so you just do the name of the property basically, and then just use the play method to play that sound. So now we should hear a beeping sound, or just a beep. Yep. Now we're going to do the uh, exclamation. Yep. Now we're going to look at the hand sound. I honestly don't know what this is going to sound like. Okay. And I think there's one more left. Yep, the question uh, sound. No, oh, I don't know. I guess it doesn't play. So yeah, that's pretty much it for this tutorial on using these sounds. Um, so that's pretty much it for this tutorial. So see you guys.